Today I want to talk about the Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner and my first impressions on this. So if you want to know more about it, stay tuned. Okay, so today I want to talk about the Shea Moisture Conditioner. Okay, it's the Raw Shea Butter Range. It is a restorative conditioner with sea kelp and argan oil. It's said to moisturize and fortify, I hope I said that right, damaged transitioning hair. And as you guys know, I am transitioning. I think it's only been a month and a half, maybe a bit more. So let's say around about two months that I've been embracing my curls and it's been amazing. So back to the conditioner. So if you haven't checked out my previous video that I did on the AVC rinse, please go check it out. It really goes hand in hand with this video. So my first thoughts on this conditioner. So usually conditioners, I love to smell them and smell what they smell like and I just get excited because usually that smell sticks in my hair and I can smell that for a few days. So initially when I opened it the first time, I smelt it and I was like, what? I don't know, <laughs> but I've never had a fancy conditioner like this before. Honestly, we all know they use a lot of natural products. So I wasn't sure, is it supposed to smell like that? Is this how natural smells like? I don't know. It doesn't stink, don't get me wrong. It still has kind of a sweet smell to it. But me and my husband were joking because I asked him to smell it for me and just be like, am I crazy or what? And it literally, I call it, it's, it smells like South Africa. I know that sounds weird, <laughs> but it smells like Africa. I don't know. It smells earthy. It smells like grass. It smells naturey. I don't know. It still doesn't stink, but it just smells like you're going on a holiday at a lodge, you know, maybe in a like National Kruger Park. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It just smells like that so it does smell very natural like so that is also a good sign for me because they do use natural products so it just shows they don't add any other weird type of fragrances to it to make it smell like something it's not also i did some research and shea butter is from a nut and that is also why it smells like it so once again don't get the wrong impression it does smell nice but if you are used to like me just your normal cheap 60 bucks max 80 bucks conditioner then it does have a different type of smell but you will definitely get used to it also what i absolutely love about it it is a little bit more on the price point but it is worth it if you guys can see here like it is it is so thick like it is not even moving and i'm squeezing it it is so thick so that just shows to me I am really not wasting my money so it is still the same because I do use a little bit less usually when I still used cheap conditioners anything I could find I would literally take my hand and just fill it up with conditioner but now with this one I really felt like I didn't need that much and I must say it worked my hair feels so 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 soft i don't know if you guys can see this but it feels so soft for blonde hair i mean it is just amazing so i must say that it is really one of my favorites <laughs> it really really helped then also another thing i like about it you can use it as a normal washout conditioner or you can use it as a leave-in. And that's exactly what I did today. So after washing out my shampoo, please watch this video. 
I used uh, this conditioner and I squished to condition in the shower and I still rinsed it out. Then after I rinsed it out, I just put two of the pumps, I pumped it twice, into my hand and I put it into my soaking wet hair just to make sure it there's not too much conditioner left in my hair so some of the water just still runs out. But that's how I used it as a leave-in today. And like I said, my hair is feeling so, so soft and it really, really did it for me. So I am absolutely in love with it. So just a few facts about this conditioner. It is Curly Girl Method approved, so you can use it if you are following the Curly Girl Method. Then let's read here on the side. Here's a few things about them. So no sulfates, they have no parabens, no, that word again, uh, no propylene glycol. I don't, I don't even know what that is, but it doesn't have it. No mineral oil, no animal testing, and no petrolatum. I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right. But I must mean, say a big up for me was the no animal testing. I mean, that is really, really amazing. You don't get a lot of products anymore that don't do animal testing. So when I saw that, I was like, that's really, really amazing. So overall, my thoughts on this conditioner is I would definitely use it again and again and again and again. It is great for my transitioning hair. Like it said on the bottle, it is for transitioning hair. It is absolutely amazing. It left my hair feeling so soft. Even with the leave-in, it was really, really amazing. So I would definitely recommend this product. So let me know down in the comments below if you have ever used a Shea Moisture Conditioner or if you're using this exact same one and what your thoughts are on it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate all the support and love you guys have been giving me. If you don't, haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up for more curly hair videos.